shoes. I was such in a rush. <laughs> Push him that way. Okay. <clears throat> He's good. He's all right. Okay, I'm. I'm gonna get off and get a good shot. Oh, I'm waiting to wait that truck moves. This is concerning. Did <clears throat> That's Woody in that truck right there. Ooh. Can I get, get a good shot real quick? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> this, is, this is kind of fun. Turning the firefighters. Well, guys, nothing like your Saturday morning breakfast getting interrupted by some morons having a fire when it's as dry as it is. Turning from eating donuts on the couch to being firefighters in seconds. The lady that lets us fish on her uh, pond over here, and her house is right there behind us, and these are our neighbor's houses. He's the one who got the camera. I, was, I am. Me and Reed, we, we were worried about our neighbor up here we're going that way, but the wind was, you know, carrying the other direction. But we were getting, I, I went through three fire extinguishers just like that. It didn't even put a dent in it. If that grass going towards our house was higher, man, it would have it been bad. <laughs> Morning. Who's that guy that said hi to you? Um, can't think of his name right now, but he's brought us deer heads before. Oh, he's probably just like, hey, morning. He's, I think he's, I, I think he's Woody's boss, but I'm not 100% sure. Hey, I'll speed through the smoke. Did, There's another one right there. Hey, I, I just go along with some stomp on them.
How do you think of your property now? I mean, it's pretty black. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like a paint. It's paint for your for your grass. Yeah. <laughs> I came. I, I, sh I tip them. I tip them fifteen dollars, and they're always. that they did. I guess I see it I see it so we didn't I, even get to do an intro to the video because it just went wild yeah so we were I, we were actually inside doing a thumbnail and editing another video I went outside to take a picture in our garden and I noticed I smelled what smelled like if you live in the country very long you probably smelled somebody burning their trash and I smelled what smelled mm -hmm. like that saw some black smoke coming up from behind the neighbor's house those neighbors are not the sharpest tools in the shed to begin with. And I was thinking that that was frustrating because you could even smell it in the house. And then a few minutes later, you could smell like what smelled like brush or, or leaves. Well, burning. you even made a comment. You said, that smell's getting stronger. I yeah. need to go check it. So I opened the front door to see our neighbor come bailing out his front door, run out, and he's sitting out there, yeah, like stomping <laughs> a fire that is not out gonna of get, control. yeah, not gonna get stomped out. So. Um, so we all went into, um, panic. Not, not panic. It like, wasn't panic. Yeah. It was very protected. It was uh, organized was chaos. chaos. Yes. Yeah, that's so what I was Very much say. organized chaos. So I called the fire. I called 911. Reed got on the four wheeler and went up because it was, we could tell it was up towards our neighbor's house up on the hill. Um, who's an elderly lady. And, uh, so Reed was very concerned about her. So he went up there. Um, I got a, uh, because the fire was going towards her house. And but it was going towards her house, yes, and, and our house. And so I got I went through three, four uh fire extinguishers, didn't put a dent in it. By, by that time the, the fire department showed up. Um who all who who showed up that we know? Um Who's our who's our Woody, favorite? <laughs> Woody yep. the someone that dropped a deer head off the <laughs> assistant chief. And then one thing I feel so bad for, there's a grandma that lives in the house that the brush was burning. She's a super nice lady, and she went out there in the spare only took with a tiny cup of water and threw yeah. it on there. Yeah, she was trying her best. So mm -hmm. let me switch hands. So uh, the fire department, we had three me. we had three brush trucks, the ambulance. Turn over a little bit. The assistant chief go. of police was here. Our friend, who's the captain. The, yeah, the assistant uh, fire chief. Fire chief. Yeah. What did I say? Please, I don't even know anymore. I'm a neighbor's yeah. not getting a big so, ticket. And in case anybody's wondering, they actually, the fire department was wonderful. We know of several people on the fire department. Personally, they were here, it seemed like within seconds or a few minutes. It, it was like, it felt like eternity, but it was really, in all actuality, it was probably less than five minutes. It, yes, yet less. And so, Reed and I were up on the four wheelers up on the far end trying to make sure it didn't go towards our neighbor's house i was waiting down uh, the yard mom and easton and sarah and, and the neighbors, neighbors were helping water down this direction and they showed up and helped and not the neighbors that started the fire yeah <laughs> and then what's funny is i guess i guess we won't talk about too much no, about that i but, don't uh, want to say too much uh the so if, if anybody's wondering i'm sure somebody's gonna ask they all left with their sirens on to go to another fire. We heard it come over the radio while they were here. Yes. It there was another brush fire. It goes, we have not stinger. we have not had any any a drop of rain in probably three months. And we, and we are we're not under a burn ban, but today is not a burn day. You have to call the county and you have to make sure it's a burn day. So yeah, and no no rain. Um wind. Wind's blowing probably 
15, 20 miles an hour. So, but in case somebody's gonna ask, the fire marshal, after all that, all, after all them left, the fire marshal came up the driveway. He stopped and asked me where the person lived. I, I showed him, and he's up there right now. He went and talked to him on the porch for a while. Then he's gone back to his truck, and he's been sitting in his truck for a while. What do you think he's doing in his truck, Easton? Probably riding him a humongous ticket. I hope, we I hope, hope he is. We I haven't seen is, him so. since the fire started. He's probably hiding in his closet. <laughs> like, yeah. not when yeah, he, he did disappear. So the, the, the man that lives there, after the fire department showed up, he never came back out of we his have house. We've not seen him. And his his wife has been out there. The elderly lady's been out there, uh, talking to everybody and helping and everything. So it got kinda, up to their house. Yeah, the it fire was, actually yeah. got to their house. They were actually pulling their cars out of their garage. They have a yeah. they had to have a detached garage and they were pulling their cars out of it because I assumed they were scared it was going to catch on fire and it almost did. So. And luckily for us, the wind was blowing out of the south, comes cool. which unfortunately pushed it, you know, into the pasture. But had it been blowing out of the north, our house would have been, our, our structures, everything would have been in probably yes. a little bit of danger. So sure. it was, I threw, I yelled at Easton to get in the car with the dogs because in case we had to hightail out of here. Out. Sarah and, and Kaylin, our neighbor, and Cole, our neighbor, and Reed. Reed was on the four-wheeler. Cole was over here with me. We were running <laughs> water hoses out. And that was probably, I told Tobin after it was all done. That was a very, that was scary. Yeah. And I was telling the fire department the same thing. It went quick. Like, by the time the fire department, when we noticed we needed to call 911 to when the fire department got here, it had burned probably 100 yards. Like that. Yeah. I mean, it went quick. Yep. Yep. Thankfully, the wind wasn't blowing the other direction. So, and the fire marshal is still down there in case anybody's And wondering. we believe it's Reed's best friend's dad. Yeah. <laughs> but, the yard is kind of muddy. Because of how much I wetted it down, yeah. I, I go to I go to our friend Cole and I go to Sarah. I go, do I wet down the yard? And Cole goes, wet it down. <laughs> it was, it like, was, it was bad. We were throwing buckets. I, I have to laugh now because our neighbor was over. He was like, Cole, get in here. And we got into the um, taxidermy shed, and I was like pulling buckets. I was like, wash your hands after this. This had deer heads in it. We'll walk out here and show them yeah. like across our road. And it definitely our part our part of the property didn't get as much as others did but like if it did that that cat yeah. all went up in flames all of it would have that's been there forever i'm i would be sad if that caught up in flames it, yeah. you can't this yeah. doesn't even do justice to what it looks like way back yeah. up in there it's burned way back up that direction where the fire marshal's at out I taking can pictures see where the houses yeah. are right up in there yeah it's probably on the other side of his truck down there it's probably burned i mean there's a there's a couple acres that are burned over there. Mm -hmm. So I, that's what I said. Probably yeah. an acre or two when I talked to my mom. It's a it's um it's a scary thing. Like it was I I just still can't get over how quick it happened. Well, and how quick you have to like I told Tobin I was like it is just it re what's the word like it reinforces it re reinforces the fact that we've got to be prepared if there ever was a fire. Yeah. Because it was organized chaos, but. My main objective was, I don't know, we all just went to action, kind of knew what our jobs were. My job was to protect the kids, although Reed, I laugh because Reed, Reed was protecting loves, somebody else. He adores our neighbors. Y'all have seen on the videos before, it's the property where he goes uh, trapping and fishing. Goes fishing. But like we're over here in our place and all of a sudden Reed's four-wheeler is Zoom, yeah. right up to her because he knew he needed to protect her. We laughed because we were we we thought at one point she was gonna be. Easton, watch of, out! She's gonna be on the back of the four wheeler with um, Reed. <laughs> We've got ash everywhere. There's been, ash all over. Been the cough. I've been coughing like crazy. Well, you Easton, in the of it. watch out! Come over here. Oh, there's the fire extinguishers we went through. And what's funny is those didn't seem to do. I, I mean, they helped more than you thought yeah. because it stopped it. Once you hit that, it kind of slowed it down enough to where when we started bringing buckets of water over there, it was just kind of like, like a little bit of a kindle. It wasn't, is yeah. that what you call it? No, that's what, kindling is what you start with. I don't know. Well, that no, it matter. was like a yeah. little bit. It wasn't yeah. very much. And then. No. We don't have to define words on our videos. No, but I didn't want to say it wrong and get corrected. My leg is burnt halfway. Skylar was meant for this day. <laughs> she was like, <laughs> Skylar. All the Skyler. big trucks. Look at her. Oh. Come here. She was. She was in the car with um, Easton for a while, because um, I didn't know. I didn't know if we were gonna have to 
move out or what, but our girls, the girl, Sarah was over at our neighbor's house and they yeah. called 911 the same time we did. And Let me show you. I was going to hop on the four wheeler and go down there and show them yeah, where can. it was. Kind of doubt, because I don't know. I'm going to go up there too, because I haven't seen it. our neighbor's property or her house Come on. Uh. I was just laughing because at one point the fire department was running up they were getting further up they went up closer to where the uh, fire started because the fire was bigger there and I think it's because they knew we were down here kind of we had put most of it out but I like ran by and they were on the other side with their like hose and they just didn't even care that I was there and just like soaked me but I didn't care I was thinking I was because the reason I said that is because I have some on my face and my glasses are a mess right I got now. black all over my shirt and been coughing really bad I, hope, I am worried about that I hope it stops Reed has been too I know and I, I I mean if we end up going to the doctor then we'll have to figure out what needs to be done as far nah. as repercussions goes. I'll be fine no that's not it's dangerous well I'm fine if there is if there is anything to be learned from this is you know windy days dry days don't burn anything just don't be stupid. It's common so. sense. <laughs> yeah, like I said, our neighbors aren't the sharpest ones out there. So, you know, that's... Well, and they have... Pleasant. I think you said, and we drove back there. They've got cattails. Real big, giant cattails in yeah. the back of their property. And that sucker just went... <laughs> yeah. Burnt. Like, they're lucky they didn't lose their, their little separated garage over there. The yeah, because it garage. was up It was right it. on it. Yeah, but the, if the fire department had got here when they did... They would have probably... It didn't burn all of it. They stopped it before it burnt all those cattails and all that brush. So... And as you can tell, when we, even when we drove back down here, it's been 30 minutes later, and there's still what's crazy is the cow patties smoking. Yeah. That they they when they dry out, they you know I'm I've read in uh, history books of guys would uh, out on the prairie they would burn buffalo poop, poop like yeah, dried up buffalo it, poop. Think about yeah. it, it's like straw, like yeah. hay almost, yeah. it or compost. But like. that stuff was burning. It was burning like crazy. So, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. Another never a dull moment. Never no. dull moment. And, and I think that's the, like, it's funny because this video is going to, it's not going to be clickbait. Like, our house <laughs> literally almost, Yeah. we almost, we may have not lost the house, but it, I think some of our yeah. detached stuff, we would yeah. have ended up losing. Well, even like the chicken coops and stuff. Yeah, you know, it would have. I mean, it could have got them. Got this big brush pile back here that, you know, what's weird? We've been waiting for the right day to burn that brush pile. And Today wasn't that day. We no. knew that. In fact, we don't think today or any other day <laughs> yeah. until we get at least seven inches of rain. Yeah. But we could have definitely lost. I mean, the outbuildings for sure. I don't know lost about the house, the but yeah. Probably. Yeah, if it got by the pool, it melted the thing. It melted like that. Oh, that's so frustrating. <laughs> the thought of that, yeah. just irresponsibility. Yeah. And that is it with everything. When someone else is irresponsible and then it, it affects, it affects me yeah. and my family and my house. Yeah. And I'm supposed to have a date night tonight and I smell like a chimney. <laughs> We'll go wash you up. Oh my gosh. Guys, thank y'all so much for watching. Yes. 
another another crazy crazy day i don't yeah. like this video though yeah it's not I in our wish favorite. we hadn't made this yeah. one but uh glad everybody's safe uh nothing was lost it, it really oh, at thank all God. thank goodness other than i lost about four fire extinguishers um but it's probably about time to replace those anyway so but guys thank y'all so much for watching thank you for the support and yeah. we'll, we'll see, see you again. see you on the next video bye